we hit we hit play on the invisible zero in three, two, one, go. And welcome back to the Spyro the Dragon playthrough, uh, part two. This is we are going to be covering Stone Hill, the first level in the game after the home world. Not a lot of stones. Oh, it's mostly a hill, but we'll we'll get to that in a little like bit. A, I guess you could call it a green hill. Oh, wonderful! Thirty-three seconds in until we get to our first Sonic reference. Uh, and as you can go. see, I still fail and run into walls constantly. Uh, I, thought were, uh, I thought you were trying to refrain from using other video game references. Yeah, so did I. It, hey, no, they, it had to come. It had to come out sooner or later, Giddy. They so, may look. Yeah. See, that's right there. That's one of those uh, key chests. I have to find the key somewhere in the level and then come back. So, Jay, how are you recording this? Um, I it's a Linux program called Skype Call Recorder. I'm talking about the game. Oh, sorry. Uh, my I have a Easy Grabber. It's the it's um, basically a USB with cables to connect to the computer, but I needed component cables. Um, I find that easy grabber hilarious. <laughs> um, as well as, this isn't the actual disc. It's the PlayStation Network uh, digital copy. Hey. And they awesome. may look yeah. like it, but they are, obviously they are uh, norks, so they drop... Uh, gems instead of uh, butterflies. <laughs> you can usually tell which ones are fodder and which ones are actual enemies by the size. As you can tell, those sheep are a lot smaller than those rams. We'll be it's seeing more of those. Tell. We'll be seeing more of those uh, herder guys later. And if you're blind, you can't tell by size. You can tell by the color. Yeah. So, question: How many dragons are in this game? Um, well, that's a bit hard to tell because two of them uh, are repeats of older ones. Mm. Somehow they get themselves captured again. Not as it's much like... as Princess Elise, but oh crap! There was there goes mine. <laughs> or Princess Peach. Yeah. And uh, both. Mario reference. We've covered the, we've covered our bases. We've referenced Sonic and Mario in the same game, and neither of them appear in this a, game. Well, she doesn't get Princess as much as Princess Zelda. Now all we need is a Mega Man reference, and I will be happy. You just made one. That doesn't count. Well, uh, Son uh, Spyro is about the same color as Mega Man, isn't he? No, no oh, that blue. guy is though. No. I hate those guys. I like hate that. those guys in this game. Well, you managed to get that one real quick. Yeah. yeah, well, wait till we get to Town Square. Can um, we try to getting uh, video game references, please? No save, save Sonic for Sonic playthrough, save Mega Man for Mega Man playthrough, etc. No. Well, Good Sonic idea. Yes, um, very good idea. For now, let's just talk about this big purple dragon. Well, I have I have no idea what the, what this guy who this guy is except for his name is Spyro and he has a pet dragonfly that apparently determines his health. Yes. Now, and, I don't know. and in a new uh -huh. beginning, the reboot of the series, uh, Spyro and Sparks are brothers because somehow Spyro's dragon egg got separated from the rest of the dragon eggs and they and he was taken in after he hatched by a family of dragonflies. I don't get it either. Actually, it's yeah. kind of funny. Actually, it is kind of funny how his friend is a dragonfly. Ha ha ha! Yes, puns. So, now, I don't, now I don't know if I'm the only one, other one here, but I actually have had some experience with this game. It do was tell. One of the, it was one of the few games we actually had on the PlayStation One back when I was just a wee lad. Wee lad. Mm -hmm. And uh. I played it, and uh, well, first off, I sucked at it. 
But, that uh, was a one-up have... chest, by the way. Sorry to interrupt. That was a one-up chest. Those are, uh, um, as well, exceedingly rare. Yeah, I sucked, I sucked at the game, but I found it enjoyable. I found it fun. And then, uh, I remember there was a spiral game for the GameCube that I played, and I don't remember much of that game. And I actually have played New Beginning, which is good. A New Beginning okay. is right up there with me with uh, Skylanders. It's the a only, good. The only, the only experience with Spyro I've had is part of Enter the Dragonfly, and I completely, I completely uh, beaten a Hero's Tale for Game Two. Those closest, are the only two Spyro experiences that I've had so far. The closest I've ever had, I've ever had to experience with Spyro is through a Crash Bandicoot racing game where he was one of the playable characters. Was oh, I'm sorry. Game? Patrick, yeah. I'm sorry. I think I, uh, I uh, messed up on the timing of where I was supposed to have you cut. Looks like I'm futzing around for a while here. Yeah. Or as I, Ryan I calls it, dinking around. And I cut around for a minute. Run, boy. Run, Boris, run. Oh, nope. I, said the oh, oh, no, I still have run. another 51 before uh, before I start dinking around looking for the rest of them. I know we talked about this before, but this game really doesn't look half bad for PlayStation 1 standard. It looks fun. Yeah, I've well, seen a been, lot worse. Actually, I've seen a lot worse yeah, for being a PlayStation 1 game. Um, one of which would be, I think I still have the disc for it, I have to look. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. It, uh, it was oh, yeah. brought over here, but it never got an English translation, so all the, all the characters have their original Japanese voice actors. <coughs> But uh, if we ever do a playthrough of that, we'll get to that when we get to it. I hate, I hate Goku's Japanese voice actor. Ah! And, uh, ah! and uh, from what I hear, the voice acting isn't half bad either. No. Um, like I said last part, this is the only game in which Spyro has this particular voice. I mean, I've heard... There are a few PlayStation games I've heard of good voice acting. Not that I will bring up at the moment because they have nothing to do with this game. But for the PlayStation 1, I don't think this voice acting is as, say, bad as Resident Evil or Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, I don't know if I don't know if you can tell or not, but Spyro's voice actor in this game, his name is Carlos Alazraqui. I probably butchered that name to no end. I think the brown towers is like like the brown things is where you can't go outside yes that is the border of the game uh most of the game most of the uh levels have a tower or a building or something that will define the limits of where you can go i think one of them actually has lightning going between the two of them between them so that you can uh so that you know not to go there it doesn't hurt you but it just tells you no you can't go here wouldn't it be funny if it was like an actual, if it was treated like an actual electric fence, and it's like if you tried to go out there, you'd be like you'd get shocked, and it'd be funny. Well, but you can get you burned know. later. Um. Uh. What's his name in Lord of the Rings? Um, Frodo. Yeah. Gandalf. No, Frodo. The the guy who played Frodo voices Spyro Elijah in a later Wood. game. Yeah. Elijah Wood. Yeah, he voiced Spyro really? in a later game. Really? Really? Yeah. Elijah no. Wood. Yeah. It's almost, Frodo. It's Frodo almost. is Spyro. That blows it's my mind as much as... Uh, this is the last reference from another character I'm going to make, but this that blows my mind almost as much as uh, Urkel playing Sonic in the original se- in the original cartoons. I'll or throw uh, the into the fire, Mr. Spyro. Or no, or Jim Cummings, uh, the voice actor of Winnie the Pooh, voice next to that AM Robotnik. I was going to say as much as Uncle Phil being the Shredder. <laughs> Wait, no, uh, Eeyore, not Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore. Oh, uh, Eeyore? Eeyore was the voice of the original Optimus Prime. There we go. Okay. And I have successfully completed the level. Yay! Huzzah! Do you kind of find it funny how you can how Spyro looks when he goes up like that? 
What do you mean? Like, if, if you replay and you look back, it's, this looks funny for some reason to me. Oh. And that is the end of the Spyro, uh, the Dragon, uh, Episode 2, Stonehill. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.